What's going on Dominators, Eldar here, and this is part two on how to optimize your Google My Business and your website to rank on Google using Local Dominator and Local Wiz tools. So far, we have uh, added the keywords and the stuff that we're looking to rank for into Local Dominator. The next step is to start optimizing, right? So it's a two-step system. One will track basically your rankings and allow you to manage your Google My Business. And the second one will also optimize your website, your listing, and some, some of the other stuff that we're going to talk about. So let's take a look and see what are the options and what is available for us in here. Now, the one thing that I like to start with at, SEO, at, at any SEO campaign is actually to look at my own links and understand where is my links uh, are going from. The next thing is I probably want to look at the website and start optimizing it and also start adding content. So all of those things we can do directly from here. Now, the first thing that I like to do is to start with the citation finder. Citation finder is basically directories, right? So I want to know what are the directories that my business have or my business has, and then what are the directories that my competitors has? And this is also where local dominator comes in. I'm going to show you how to use this thing in just a second. It only works on businesses that are not service area. So I can only look at the competitors that have addresses and I already know what I have and what I don't have. So let me just go and show you how this is done. So in here, um, I'm going to go with the general stuff. So my general keywords right here and I'm going to click on, sorry, I'm going to click on not this one. I'm going to click on the, actually I'm going to go for a specific keyword. So I'm going to go for, uh, probably plumber. I want to see who is ranking for plumber. All right, so I'm going to go for plumber in this area. And from here, I'm going to click share. And I'm going to go to the dynamic URL. Now, what this will do, this will show me all of the competitors. You can see kind of right here on the right. And this will basically show me who is ranking for this keyword. And as you can see, I'm not even ranking for this keyword. I'm not even within the top 20. So I kind of want to go for number one. And I can see that number one has some decent rankings. They are uh, ranking at 6.3, uh, which makes sense because this is two cities and um, you know, it is a larger area. But I'm going to use these guys in my, as my reference and maybe I'll use these guys. So I'm going to check these guys on Google. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab their, you see they are located within Santan Valley. I bet that these guys are killing it for plumber in Santan Valley, um, which I don't think I have in here because uh, we didn't do this. So I'm going to go, I'm going to add this here. Just so I can have this keyword. All right, I'm just going to hit save and then I'm going to run this again. Now we can look at that keyword as well. Um, okay, so going back to local Wiz, right? I want to look at their citations. So I'm going to look them up here and I want to look them up by name. I want to look them up by name and phone and I want to look them up by name and address. And also I like the name, address and phone, which is the classic nap, right? Name, address, phone, and then just click submit. This usually take anywhere from five seconds to 20 seconds based on uh, the amount of data that this will collect. Essentially, this will go to Google and start collecting the data. And this will give us all of the citations that are actually worth for us to go and obtain. And this is what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to show you how we're going to get those and we're going to start uh, basically building our links and building our directory assets. Okay. So this is going to take just a second and see 25 seconds. And now I have this great list here. Um, and if I click on this list here, here is what I can find. So this will take just a sec. Now you can see all of this stuff are relevant for this business. This is their citations. And what I want to do, I want to start grabbing those citations from my own business as well. Um, 
you know, like I want to get my business registered, like for example, in this citation here, which I don't know what this is, but this is my home quote. I don't know what this is, but they are registering uh, them and they're not registering us, right? Here, this is the competitor. And as you can see, the business that I'm working on is not here. So I'm losing on a really good link that I can get from my business. I just found an opportunity to get a link from these guys. So I'm going to click join our network and I'm going to start registering my business. Essentially what I'm going to do, I'm going to pile up my list just like that. I'm going to download the CSV file from all of the, um, from all of the, all of the, uh, searches that I made, right? So I'm going to go in here. Hold on. Takes a sec. My account is weird. I have like a bunch of stuff on that. I'm going to combine all of those lists into one large CSV file. And then I'm going to give this to a VA or I'm going to do this thing on my own. But essentially what I'm going to do, I'm going to start registering a more plumbing services in all of those websites. Now I'm going to do the same thing for all of my five top competitors. So I'm going to go back to this and I'm going to do this for these guys. I'm going to do this for these guys. And I'm probably going to go after other keywords. I only did, um, that one keyword here, which what was, uh, what was my keyword here? Let's do this one. It was just a plumber as a standalone, right? So I'm probably going to go to, uh, where is the plumber? I just added, um, let's take a look. Plumber Santan Valley. Oops. I made a spelling mistake there. I put sun. Um, I, I made a spelling mistake. So let me fix that. do this thing on a cross of multiple keywords and like for example I'll go for the plumber Queen Creek the same way I've done uh, earlier and I'm gonna go share I'll go dynamic and oh look at that these guys are killing it it's the same guys we just worked on here what do you know so I definitely want to get their citations, you know, definitely. And I want to get these guys citations. So I'm going to grab their name. I'm going to click view on Google. I'm going to grab their name here. And I'm just going to get me the citations that these guys have. Same story. I'm going to use all of that, uh, all of the same stuff that I did. And I'm going to find me good opportunities to get me the links. This is a milestone of your campaign you must obtain those high quality citation links. Do not go to Fiverr or to Legit and spend 200, 200 spend like $20 to get 300 citations. The reason you don't want to do that, those citations are not going to get indexed. It is junk. What you do want to do, you want to grab the citations that this amazing tool find for you because remember, these citations are indexed by Google. Google is telling us that these are the citations that are relevant for that business in their eyes. So for example, if I click on this thing, this will show me the SERP. So this is like me doing just a normal search here by their name. And we're basically grabbing all of those URLs. So this is super, super important. You don't want to do $20 a citation order or whatever it is. You want to manually get the links for, uh, for your business that you can find, um, you know, based on that. Look at this. On this one, we found 11, 111 clip, like links. I want to obtain those links for my own, my, whatever, if it's my business, like if I'm a plumber or whatever, if I'm a marketing agency working on the plumber, I want to get those links. These are critical. It's a milestone. So do this on your own or have a VA do that. Make sure you have a nice Google sheet and you track everything and you know which ones you have done. And over time, this is not going to take one day. This is a task that will take hours to complete. So you want to have, you know, every day you want to spend 30 minutes to get yourself more and more of them, or you want to have a VA that you can pay whatever it is. And you want to have that VA go every week, spend three, four, you know, five hours every day and get those registered. In the next video, I'm going to show you how we're going to start working on the content on the website. This will blow your mind. So stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.